Hi, it's Tessa, and it's Ipsy time again. This just came in the mail. I don't know if it came today, or it came one day last week while we were away, but I just got it today, because we just had our mail delivered. Um, so we'll see what's in here. Hopefully better than last month when I had the broken um, Michael Todd stuff. Okay, so here's the bag this month. It's just the blue bag with, like, flowers on it and a little thing on here that says Ipsy. Two cards came with the coupon codes for what's inside. And this is a thing on Michelle Fawn and her M cosmetic line, which I don't think, I think they really should give us a little something from that brand. Well, I got a little thing here, but I think she should throw in an eyeliner or something. I mean, come on. You own Ipsy or run Ipsy, and then you come out with this um, makeup line. You really should throw something in for us Ipsy girls, I feel. I mean, this is just a little flat piece of paper, but whatever. You have the, what do you want to call it? I don't know. I won't say any more about that. Anyway, here's what's in the bag. The first thing in here is a Starlux obsidian colored, I think it's an eyeliner. Let me open it here. Sorry, I'm like half asleep today. I'm tired. I took a nap and woke up and now I'm like, Ugh. but I wanted to film this, so I should probably get more energized, huh? I go to bed early tonight. I was just sleepy. And I'm having a problem with my under eye area being really dry. It looks so dry. And I work or put on coconut oil every night, and it just isn't cutting it. So I think I'm going to try ordering that Michael Todd under eye cream or serum or whatever it is to see if that will do the trick. So here's the eyeliner. It's a coal eyeliner, and it's black. Um, it's kind of hard, but it might be okay. It is very black. So I'll try that. I can always use an eyeliner because I wear black eyeliner every single day. The next thing I have is, I really wanted that Butter London polish. Darn it. The John Frieda Full Repair Full Body Shampoo and Conditioner. Eh, well. Whoop. It has sodium lauryl sulfate in it, and I have color in my hair, so I won't be using this. Because I don't use sodium lauryl sulfate on my hair. So that's a no-go. And two more things. Um... It's so big, volumizing mascara. I guess that's the brand name. Um, what's that card? Yeah, the brand is called It's So Big. I never heard of that brand. But I like trying new mascaras. So, this is a really crappy bag. If I do say so myself. So there's like an hourglass brush on that wand. It smells like typical mascara. Um, so I'll try that. And then the last thing is a NYX eyeshadow in Morocco. And it's this purple color here. Very pigmented and pretty. I would probably wear that. So that's pretty. Um, so to recap, a NYX eyeshadow in Morocco, a black eyeliner, a mascara, and these. Can you believe I threw that again? Ugh. Unbelievable. Um, a shampoo and conditioner by John Frieda, which I won't use the shampoo, but I will use the conditioner. So I will not use. It says safe for color treated and chemically treated hair. That's the shampoo. I mean the conditioner. Let me go grab the shampoo that I through over here in the bathroom. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I don't understand how it can be safe for color treated and chemically treated hair when there's sodium or sulfate in it. I don't want to use it. And honestly, I don't think I know a single person that doesn't color treat their hair, so yeah. But I'll try the conditioner. Yeah, that was a pretty crappy bag. Um, I don't know. 
wasn't impressed. Then I rubbed that eyeliner and it came right off. All right, Ipsy, you better uh, bring it next month because last month my thing was broke. This month there's crappy products. And I'm not usually one to complain about it because I do like to get exciting things in my bag, but this month wasn't that exciting. So thanks for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.